Welcome to another video on Earth and Space Science of the Knowledge Catalog. This is the fifth video in this series. I right, so this video is divided into the following uh, parts. The first part is activity number two, the higher, the colder. And then the second part is a discussion on the effects of altitude to climate. And then the third and last part is a discussion about the effects of nearby waters, bodies of water, to climate. I right, so we're still in the process of mastering the fifth learning competency, which is explain how different factors affect the climate of an area. Yeah. So if you want to follow through with your learner's module, you can open it in Unit 3, Module 2, pages 31 to 37. Let's begin. The first part of this uh, video is activity number two, the higher the colder. So as usual, you will need an, a, piece, a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen in uh, accomplishing this activity. And if you are my student, you have your science notebook. Right? So you have to bring it out. Again. So uh, the objective of this activity is that uh, by the end of this activity, you should be able to explain how altitude or yung taas na isang place affects its climate. Okay, so yung climate na mismo place na yun. And if you're ready, let us now proceed with the first part of the procedure. We study the following table. Again. So uh, tingnan ninyo yung name of the place. It's the first column and then the elevation above sea level in meters. So kung kaano kataas yung place above sea level in terms of meters, ayan, so naka-indicate din sa, at sa ating second column. And then the last column is uh, the annual average temperature of the place. Okay, so then I'll give you a moment to analyze this table. I am rooting for you, so yeah, make the most out of this time. Okay, so analyze this table. If you want to get more time, you can pause this video. Oh, tapos ka na? Okay, sige. Let's uh, proceed now with the uh, questions. Right, the first guide question for this activity is, uh, which of the following, or which of these places here, this first column, uh, is considered to be the coldest? So look at the name of the place and then uh, the annual average temperature. And then uh, tell me, which of them is the coldest? If you need more time, uh, baka medyo nahihirapan ka pa, it's okay. Actually, it's okay. It's, it's, it's just fine. Okay, so but if you are having difficulties, uh, you can always pause this video. Okay, na? Okay, so let's proceed with the second question. Okay, question number two. Which place is considered the hottest? Okay. The next question is, the next and last question is, uh, based on the data, what is the relationship between altitude and the temperature of a place? Mm -hmm. You may need some more time in answering this, uh, this question, so you can pause this video for the meantime. Okay, proceed the tayo. Okay, let's answer okay, the questions for this activity. Right, so, um, I'll just be dictating the answers, so you have to pay close attention, okay? So, let's proceed with the question, first question. The coldest place is obviously Baguio, uh, Baguio City, the city of pines. Yan, Camp Jan Hay, Heights Waving, Burnham Park, Yan, Benka Museum. Strawberry taho, <laughs> they're all waving. The good taste, it's waving. <laughs> okay, Baguio City is considered to be the coldest uh, place in this uh, in this activity. It is also elevated at one thousand four hundred uh, meters above sea level. So napakataas niya, no? What? Di man ang alahati si Tagaytay, no? <laughs> wala walang pinat si Bacolod sobrang baba ng mga places nila ayan Bacolod din Manila ang Baguio City napakataas 1400 meters no halos ano halos sa kalahating kilometro oo ang tinaas and its temperature annual average temperature is 16 degrees celsius so saan ka pa <laughs> okay so the next question uh, the answer is the hottest place Obviously, in this list is Tacloban. 
Kung ang pangalawa, si na ano, si na Bacolo, tsaka si Manila. Ano mo sabi? At ako naman kasi medyo meron tayong ano dyan eh. Medyo meron tayong naging bad news dyan, di ba? Yes, so. Uh, Tacloban uh, was hit by a very strong, ano, a very strong typhoon. Okay, so we do not forget that. We do not forget our lessons. Um, also do not forget the uh, people uh, who suffered so much loss in the mga time na yun. So ayun. in this activity, Tacloban has the highest temperature, highest annual average temperature. So it's considered to be the hottest. And then the last question is uh, the relationship between altitude and temperature is very apparent. No, napakali now. Okay, the higher the altitude, the lower the temperature. Okay, so bawa yan sa Baguio City at taas ng pwesto niya. So mababa yung temperature niya. Same with Tagaytay, mataas yung pwesto, mababa yung temperature. Ayun. So let's now proceed. Okay, finalize your answers. Okay, once you're through, uh, rate yourself. Okay, so if you got all three questions correctly, okay, rate yourself as uh, 3 over 3. Kung meron kundi ka dagaan satisfied, give yourself 0.5. It's fine. Uh, and then report 2.5 uh, over 3. And kung ba, di kayo ganang satisfied sa mga sagutin nyo in each of the numbers, just uh, give yourself 0.5. Lalo kung feeling nyo yung tama naman. Kulang lang. <laughs> Have mercy. Okay. Okay, let us, let us now proceed with the next part of this uh, session, which is active, which is a discussion, okay, about the effects of altitude to climate. Um, nalito na natin kanina, the higher the altitude, the lower the temperature. Mount Fuji, um, Mount Fuji, a very, very famous mountain in Japan. Ayan. Yung ano niya, yung bandang nasa taas niya, siya talaga may ice cap, no? Bakit kaya ganon? Bakit kaya? Okay, kasi siya yung, ito yung mga areas na mataas dun sa mountain. So, expect mo lang talaga na mayroon siyang ice cap. Kasi the higher the elevation, the higher the place is, the lower the temperature. So, altitude refers to the height of an area above sea level. So, ASL, an average of 1 degree Celsius is uh, usually decreased from every for every 100 meters above sea level. Kaya ayun. Imagine niyo na gaano kalalamig sa mga sobrang task na mga place, di ba? Yeah. Ayun, bale, yun lang. <laughs> For the effects of altitude to climate, napakadali, no? <laughs> okay, so let's now proceed the last part of this session. Ang <laughs> I know, okay, so... Um, for the last part of this session, let us study this um, illustration. So in summer, um, there is cool onshore wind. Papunta dito sa shore, yung wind, it's cold. Ne? Uh, the sea is cooler during summer. And then yung coast naman is 17 degrees Celsius. Uh, ito is uh, coast, kaya kasi malapit siya dito sa, of course, malapit siya sa body of water. Pero inland, uh, it is uh, 21 degrees Celsius kasi... Okay, it, uh, it, it, they are varying kasi mas malapit itong part na to sa body of water. Dito naman, yung warm onshore na wind, siya yung, I mean, uh, siya yung un ang coast ang unang makaka, ano sa kanya, makakalangkap sa kanya. So, mainit-init pa yon. The sea is also uh, warmer during winter. So, mainit-init yung tubig, mainit-init din yung, ano, yung wind na papasok sa land. Okay, so since ang coast is malapit ng dito sa may tubigan, uh, siya ay mayroong 9 degrees Celsius in winter, whereas inland, meron naman siyang 5 degrees Celsius. So, uh, ganun yung pinagkaiba niya, mas malamig inland. Dito naman, mas mainit inland. Um, when, a, when an area is uh, near a body of water, mas nare-regulate siya. Why is that so? Because water, is uh, it tends to gain and lose uh, thermal energy fast. I mean, uh, slower. Diba ako ganito? Um, of course, uh, feeling ko nakapag, ano ka na rin naman, diba? Nakap, nakapagligo ka na sa beach, no? Okay. Siguro nahalata mo yun. Like, uh, siguro mga, ano na yun, mga alas 9, okay, 9 a.m. until 11 a.m., uh, malamig pa yung tubig, no? The, the water is still very cold. 
Um, tapos bandang hapon nun, mga siguro five ganun. Warm naman yung water. Bakit kaya ganun? Um, it's because um, water will be uh, gaining uh, thermal energy from the, ano, from the sun slower. Kaya kahit na alas 9 na, alas 10 na, or alas 11 na ng umaga, mainit na yung, mainit na yung tirik ng araw, malamig pa rin yung tubig. It's because it is absorbing uh, thermal energy slower. And then naman, kapag hapon, like, nawala na halimbawa yung, ano, yung, I mean, nag-set na yung sun, so wala nang, ano, wala nang source of thermal energy for that time. Tapos mga 6pm na, 7pm na, wala na talaga yung sanggabi na, pero the water is still warm. Why is that so? It's because, um, nag start pa lang mag-loose. Okay, nag start pa lang mag-loose ng thermal energy ang tubig, kahit na gabi na. So again, it, the water tends to lose thermal energy um, slower than uh, land. Ang lupa kasi agad siyang nagpapalit ng temperature whereas ang um, tubig, hindi. So during summer, yung sea, it's generally cooler than the coast. So medyo mas malalamig, malalamig sa summer, sarap mag-swimming. <laughs> uh, and then, um, Kapag naman, ano, kapag naman winter, yung coast naman is warmer. So, it's better. I right, take for instance, halimbawa, ito si Glasgow, Glasgow from the United Kingdom, tsaka si Moscow in Russia. Pareho lang yung latitude nila, ay ano, <laughs> halos magkahawig. Or halos nasa isang, ano lang talaga sa isang latitude, magkalapit na magkalapit ng latitudes nila yan. No? Pero, kapag halimbawa, nag, ano, nag, uh, winter o kaya nag-summer sa Moscow, so mas, ano, mas severe. Kumpara dito sa Glasgow, kasi sa Glasgow, mas nare-regulate dahil nga malapit siya sa body of water. Babawa, dito super na freezing, no? no? Freezing na freezing na sa Moscow. Dito sa Glasgow, ano pa rin siya? Kere lang. <laughs> kasi ano, surrounded by water naman siya. Ayun. Tapos kapag summer naman, so init na dito sa Moscow, pero dito sa Glasgow naman, Kere lang. <laughs> Kasi again, it's surrounded by water. Ayun. So, um, we are able to finish. Yes. Uh, I think this is the third, no? The third factor affecting climate. And so, do you have questions? If you have questions, you can always ask them in our comment section. It's down below. And so, yeah. Ayan. Bilis. Okay, we're, we're done okay, with the sixth video in this series. And this uh, video is divided into the following parts. Let me remind you, we're done with activity number two, the higher the colder. A discussion on the effects of altitude to climate and another discussion about the effects of nearby bodies of water to climate. Right, so we're still working on mastering the fifth learning competency, which is explaining how different factors affect the climate of an area. Ayan. So uh, this is Sir CJ, and I hope that I learned something in this video. So I support the man. Hi. So um, if you want to, you can like this video, leave a positive or negative comment down below, which are going to be taken um, uh, to the best of my abilities constructively. Okay. And then you can also subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you if it if hindi naman ganong kalabisan. You can also uh, click on that bell button so that you'll be notified once I upload new content. Okay, so I hope that you're having a good day. See you in the next video.